No, I wasn't going to say anything. Oh, I thought it sounded like you were about to say something. And then I clapped. No. It was never. You're so dumb. Man, what is you're going the on, dumb you guys? one. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode number one of the Ladies and Gentlemen podcast. Episode or, one. I meant wrong podcast. Wait, what episode is this actually? Six? Five? Seven, man. Seven? Keep up with your own podcast. I'm not, I'm just the We're I'm just the talent. Phone. I'm just the talent. I I don't. You're right. You're not the brains. Stop playing SuperCard, man. Come <laughs> on. Stop <laughs> playing WWE SuperCard. Yeah, sorry guys. Today I'm just gonna show off my SuperCard collection. It's episode, it's episode seven. seven. I told you that already. So um, welcome back. I'm Saluchin. So I'm gonna sit up quickly. Saluchin. No, and no, I, I gotta sit up. I can't figured out the me. microphone so I can hold it a little closer without peeking. And so now you don't have you to every five seconds say you're peeking and you're peeking. That was pissing me off. I'm head glitching. No. <laughs> I'm head glitch. Oh. I'm head glitching. Oh. No, that was actually pissing me off though when I was uh, edit, re-editing the podcast. <laughs> when I was re-editing the podcast and every time I would say something, you'd be like, you're peeking, you're peeking. When did I say that? Dude, rewatch the podcast. You said it at least 10 times. Oh, I didn't say it once. <laughs> you made the same joke over and over. Well, you're peeking right now, so. Peeking? Peeking? Um, no, that was my favorite thing at work, especially when I first started and you and I were working together, um, was when... <laughs> was when Ray was a, peeking? Was when we would be on a, like a company-wide <laughs> call. <laughs> <laughs> and you just pick out the one person who's just the, like here yeah, the on their the face cam. The, the, they got the they got the, uh, the 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 laptop webcam, and the laptop is like faced up, T- tilted too it's far tilted up, tilted too far up, so it cuts off here. And there's and then you just message me going like X is head X is glitching, head glitching. Ray's head glitching, Ray's head glitching. And it was pretty so funny fun, every time. The other thing that I love about <laughs> Zoom calls is when, or whatever your mode of video call is. Google Meet. Google Meet also for us. Um, is I'm better. Okay. Fighting, blinking, back, fighting back the tears, fighting back the tears, <laughs> trying to blinking. clog my tear ducts. Um, Not how you do it, man. Is when you type someone something and you can see their... <laughs> type someone something. <laughs> and you can see their camera and you type them something funny. And then they and just, you just see them cheesing. You just see. No, you just see this. You see this. You go, because they got two monitors, so they're. <laughs> <laughs> like and you're the, like, because the leg. Yeah. And then they finally they hear they hear the notification, but they don't necessarily look at it right away. Or, but you can tell. Or when you send them a message it. and they go like this. You're like, oh shit. Or when you send them a message and they go. <laughs> and they just don't they make no reaction so that was a visual segment yeah that was a visual segment so if in you're, case you're listening go check us out on youtubes yeah if somehow you're the you're the few people that are listening to this instead of watching it uh go better. watch it on youtube better on, on youtube uh, guys you get to see us youtube.com slash ethan gallagher you get to see my ugly mug you get to see his beautiful mug you get to see his kevin owens shirt kevin, kevin owens. owens guys i'm going to see <laughs> what <laughs> We said that in such perfect harmony, you didn't even realize that I said it at the same time as you. <laughs> um, That's incredible. Guys, I'm going to Monday Night Raw. Guys, I'm going to Montreal. I'm going to Monday Night Raw when it comes to Toronto in August. So Stop checking your phone like you, you have anything better That's to do what I'm this. doing on the 30th. Checking your phone. <laughs> so, checking my phone on the 30th. No, it's Summer Slam. <laughs> it's Summer Slam. It's Summer Slam. <laughs> It's the whistle when you say your ass. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> summer slam. Oh, I wonder if the mic picked up the uh, whistle. I think so because you're speaking right into it. I wonder if my mic picked up my <laughs> is voice. Is my mic picking up my voice right now? Currently, <laughs> I wonder if my mic picks up my voice. Now, so, summer slam is next Saturday, and then at the end of August, when Monday Night Raw comes to Toronto, I'm going. So if you want to come and say hi. Don't, because I'll be enjoying <laughs> who myself. Who the fuck do you think is watching this? That's coming to say hi. Oh, you know who might be on Raw? Logan, Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Logan the Lemon. I wonder if Logan Paul is going to be on Raw. That would actually be kind of Liddy. I'd be Liddy Licks. Um, so, there's a bunch of video games coming out that we're all excited for, right? Hmm. God of War 4. Modern Warfare 2. God of War 5. 
God of, God oh of my War. God. God of War 5. God of War 5. Modern well, Warfare 2. First of all, two. it's like God of War 7, if you want to be technical about it. Because no. there was God of War. <coughs> then and there was God of War Ghosts of Sparta. Then there was God of War Chains of Olympus. Then there was God of War 2. Then there was God of War Ascension. Then there was God of War 3. Then there was God of War Ascension. No. So already we're no, at Ascension happened before five. 3. No, it came out after. No, it did. It came out, but it takes place. It takes place before, before the first one. one. Yeah. I wasn't saying them in chronological order, dummy. I was saying them in the order they You're came the out. You're dumbest. Um, then God of War 2018. Now God of War Ragnarok. Which, by the way, guys, I pre-ordered it. Not what I was trying to bring up. What I was trying to say, plenty of games that are coming out that we're excited for, namely Hogwarts Legacy, namely Hogwarts Legacy, which is a disappointing game because it's not an MMORPG, just a single player RPG, so there's no reason to play it. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, God of War 5, um, Breath of the Wild 2, but more importantly... Guys, we are excited about uh, But Hogwarts more Legacy, importantly, we're not. I am. More, no. Don't I'm speak for like, yourself. Okay. I'm going to strangle Don't you. speak for yourself. <laughs> okay. More importantly, Skate 4. Which will be coming out next to Which GTA will be coming 6. out next Tuesday. Yeah, it's coming out next Tuesday, guys. So drop a like. Okay. Um, so that's the segue that I was trying to do. Skate is going to come out. Skate 4 is the main topic that I wanted to talk about. When GTA 6 out. comes out. You want a taco? I want to talk out. I want to flush it out. I want to... Okay. What? Let me start over. Okay. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode seven. Oh, my God. <laughs> and today, we're doing an exclusive um, uh, a trailer review, and then we're yeah. going to give our thoughts on Skate 4 and what we want to see in the game, what we want to see be in it. I want to see uh, I want to see skating. roller skates. I want to be able to... <sighs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't say it. You think I You're was going to say, say something inappropriate. I w- Not really, but I'll tell it after. Guys, this is a small at Subway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is a child-sized small at Subway. Guys, I need your opinion on something. Okay? So what we're going to do... We went to Subway, and my next-door neighbor was the sandwich artist. Dude, she watches this podcast, man. She messaged me. Okay, well then shout out, because the sandwich was actually nice and compact. I will say this. I asked for That's hot sauce. That's not what makes a good sandwich, man. I asked for hot sauce, and you put sub sauce. No. It wasn't the worst thing in the world, but what's one I That was like for? I went to Harvey's one time. Oh. I heard Harv sauce, and they put mayo. <laughs> and they put... And they put, they put hot sauce. Poo-poo. And or, then they put... I asked for Harv sauce, and they put on leaves. Like, the segment's done. The segment's over. The joke's over, so... We're gonna be watching the skate. Now, did we put? Now, did you pull it up ahead of time? Absolutely not, brother. Uh, we will be watching it here exclusively. And we're watching it on Ethan's phone. On my phone, and then did you, you guys just type in Susan. Susan four trailer. Susan, and then you guys speak? will uh, be able to. Uh, I'll add it on screen. Probably, it'll probably start here. It'll probably reach up to right around oh here, God. and then it'll probably go down here. <laughs> I think it'll be like right here. It'll start here. It'll probably start it'll here. Go yeah. up it'll probably to go there, up to and here. And then around. Down here. And then it'll be like. And then it'll, I'll make sure to add like oh, a, like a hexagonal. So yeah. let's watch this trailer. And then afterwards. Just watch the IGN where one. Where the like, fuck is it? Just watch the there, IGN Just one. found it, man. Wait, there was another one, though. We're talking into each other's mics. That's going to sound so bad. Behind the scenes. Oh, don't watch that. That's it's behind minutes. the scenes of their brainstorming session at IGN. <laughs> What Guys, their next videos should be. What do you think we should make our next video on? What game hasn't got a 9 out of 10 rating recently? Destiny. Mm. <laughs> let's, let's put out an updated review for Destiny and give it a 9 out of 10. <laughs> what the f- I was yawning. <laughs> okay. So aggressive. So we're going to we watch, watch this. Are we going to watch it just on the preview? Yeah, with no sound. Oh, you're kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. <clears throat> it's a 15 second unskippable ad, man. Come on. YouTube is going under. Kind of a banger heat track, though. So that was an ad for Sapsucker. Don't give them. They had a 15-second <laughs> unskippable review. I Review. I actually, there is a brand. I'm not going to give them a shout-out. It's a yogurt brand 
that mm-hmm. I, every time I see it in the store, I tell people don't buy this ever. Not that they were about to, but don't buy it. Actually, I'll tell them. No, don't say it. Um, it's, it's, what if we want to get sponsored? Fuck, I don't want to. It's uh, like Siggy's or <laughs> something like that. Yogurt. Guy doesn't even know the brand name that he wants to boosh. Never buy it because they had an unskippable 30-second ad oh! on YouTube. 30 seconds. Oh, oh my. And I will never be buying that brand ever. There was a, uh, there was like a, a tax... One of those tax aiding companies. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but it had the most Turbo annoying. Tax. It wasn't TurboTax. It had the most annoying, Violation. unskippable fifteen second ad <laughs> ever, and it played. And it was the only ad I was getting on YouTube for like a month. Were it you watching one, How to Pay My Taxes yeah, videos? Oh, that's what it was. I kept watching the same video oh, over and over that's again. Fire. Shit. Shit. All right, people are dying to get this skate video. Let's watch it and then. Will tell us if this is a fun idea at home, and we can react to other stuff yeah. live on the not, maybe not like vid, like long videos. This is a minute and a half uh, trailer. So if like maybe if like a new movie relevant movie trailer drops, we can like. I'm not react watching to trailers. It. No, like a teaser or something. All right, I'll watch a teaser. All right, I'll watch the trailer. I'll watch the full trailer. All right, here I'll we go. Skate officials still working on a trailer. Came out two weeks ago, I think. Three, Three weeks, weeks ago. ago. Jinx, you owe me a kiss. Warning, what you're about to see is pre 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 alpha. Things might look a little different than you're expecting, but we're still working on it. So we told you we're back and yeah, we're still working on it. But it's probably time we showed you where we've been. Where we are. And where we're going. We took what we know. What you told us. And started building. But San Amsterdam wasn't built in a day. We're giving you more freedom. More ways to express yourself. People are playing. And we're listening. Sign up. Come play. Help shape the future of skate. Guys, that game, they're like shit. (laughs) That game needs uh, some work on the graphics. Yeah, the graphics are really bad. The graphics are kind of bad there, but. There was like a stick figure at one point. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to play as that character. I want to play as my own character. So here's what I know is going to so happen. So here's my thoughts. Here's this what is what I, I know is going to happen. Here's what I know is going to happen. It's EA, first of all, so you have to consider that. You always have to consider yeah. that. So there's going to be some stupid-ass microtransactions. Loot boxes but are confirmed. <laughs> loot boxes I'm, confirmed. I'm being dead serious. I, I, even loot if they boxes have been confirmed. Loot boxes have been confirmed, but it's also been confirmed that you can earn them. No, here's what I was going to say. Oh, that's they're going to they're good. They showed great news and you're just not phased. They showed that um, a bunch of people skating together. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Promising this big multiplayer experience. Well, not guarantee you. You hop in. If you ever played Battlefield 2042. No, that game does not work. We're going to uh, we're going to cut to a clip. We're going to cut to a clip now of Battlefield of me playing Battlefield. Um, no, it's it's going to. You're going to go and skate, and it's just going to not work with uh, multiplayer. Like, on, like, multiplayer is like not on going launch? To, multiplayer is not going to be as good as you hope it is. Just keep... I would think that... And prove me wrong. I would think prove that me the wrong, multiplayer in, in this is probably going to be similar to the multiplayer in GTA, where it's just like, you're just you're doing what you're doing. There's just other And then a dude around. in a tank rolls up and blows yeah. your ass off. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, that's what I assume the multiplayer is going to be like. Here's what I here's what they need to do. They can't just release the game Skate Three, but it doesn't but look like with Skate better 3. graphics. It has to be. They have to innovate. I agree. I agree. Um, it doesn't look like it's just going to be Skate Three though. It looks like it's going to be. I don't know. I mean, they they haven't really told us much about the game to be honest. But 
Uh, no release date. There are, it's going to come out after GTA 6. There are um, a lot of like third-party just YouTube creators that have found the game as is, um, and they've downloaded it. Anybody can really just download it can and play it. Can you play a beta, or is it alpha? Or it's what? like pre, pre, pre alpha. It's no character models. There's no. There's nothing really to the game um, yet, except for like tricks and man, there's a little bit of building. There's some of the physics are in it and stuff, but uh, other than that, there's not really much in the game so far. But it looks very smooth. It looks very fluid. One thing I'm really excited for, which might make me sound like a pussy, but is the fashion. I'm excited to dress some, my you, character. You want a Balenciaga? Collab. Yeah, I want to. I want to. I want the Blevins bundle. Oh, dude, if, if they, they drop ninjas, microtransactions and there isn't a Blevins bundle, I'm not spending a, ninja a single Tyler penny. Tyler Ninja Blevins skin. But there it. are going to be loot boxes. Um, but the loot boxes have been confirmed to be earnable. Probably just not. It's probably going to be like but, earnable at but a certain they're earnable rate. Earnable in Battlefront. They're earnable, and and all all loot boxes are earnable. Nope. Oh my god. Not in, not not every single game, but most of EA's loot boxes are earnable. It's just that if you want the good ones, the ones that are actually worth it, right? But then here's you have the thing: to pay five hundred dollars. Right, but here's the thing: is the way I look at it, it oh, you're paying for different loot boxes than the ones you earn. You pay for the good ones. So the way I would like, hope, like a gold box instead of just like a okay. common box. Uh, that's stupid. The way I would think of it w- is, is like. There's just it's just a loot box and you can earn it by doing missions. But if you don't want to do those missions and you just want to open like 50, you can just buy them if you want, which yeah, is like, fine because that game is pretty much a single player game. There's going to be multiplayer, but it's not PVP. So you don't really need to worry about uh, anything really. And it's not like a game with armor where there's like super, super cool armor. It's just going to be like close. So it really is about not necessarily. I mean, it's going to be I mean, you could do it like real life you can either dress yourself to try to have like a name which i'm sure there's gonna be like fucking gucci stuff in this thing or you could try to dress yourself like for the way you look instead of like the name that's on your clothes so at the end of the day loot boxes in a skateboarding video game not the end of the world no they'll probably be all cosmetic which is fine but Um, well they have to be cosmetic what what a competitive advantage super bored but that doesn't give you a competitive advantage. No, over there's other not going to be competitive. Well, there might be. I mean, if there's like perks and stuff that you can get. But there's no. But there's no PVP. You can but get there perks, might, but, but there might gonna, be. What's the? Oh, I guess maybe racing. It'll be something. like leaderboards and racing. Oh yeah, and, like racing. Maybe you can park, do like like you remember park tricks. No chance. You remember in Skate Three how there were like the the competitions where you would like most points you do the tricks and get most points i don't know if there's going to be perks and yeah stuff. right there might not be i would be very surprised um i think they learned their lesson from battlefront 2 and they fixed battlefront 2 what was i gonna say i can't remember yeah so i made a list of about of about 20 things that i'm excited for for this game pop shove it's pop shoveys um let's see i'm hoping for some really good rag ragdoll physics i actually didn't I want some updated. Did you not save it? Uh, no, I just wrote down what are we looking to get from this game, not what my actual thoughts were. <laughs> um, just types. What am I looking for in this game? Send podcast topic. Um, no, I I know like because in that in that trailer, the guy who's fully rendered, and he was wearing like the pink pants and the Vans and stuff. I saw that and I was like, ooh, the clothing in this in this game could be really good. Like really good, because the the physics with it is too is because Skate Three came out in like two thousand eight or something, and so obviously there's no real physics to the clothes. They're kind of stuck to your person. There's no wind mm-hmm. that blows through your clothes. Were there um, clothes physics in the trailer? I couldn't yeah. really see. Yeah, there there were, and in the gameplay that's come out so far, there there is, um, what's it called? There is uh, physics. Do you know what is it? You, what, do you know what engine it's using? Did they say? Probably default Unity engine. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. Oh, what I was going to say was... Probably Unreal Engine. What I was going to say back just briefly on the Loot Crate topic. Mm-hmm. Trials Rising, which is a Ubisoft game, also notoriously terrible for microtransactions, um, and NFTs, guys. Ubisoft dropped their own NFTs. But I think you talked about this last week. Did I mention that? Okay. Then I, I'm not going to get into we it. We did a whole thing but on NFTs last week. I know we did. 
I don't think I mentioned Ubisoft, but anyways, that's not what I'm talking about. Trials has every time you level up with XP, you get a loot crate, but perfect. it's like a BS loot crate. Oh, not perfect. And, or you could spend, you know, 20 bucks for other currency where you can buy mm-hmm. the good loot crates. Right. So that's what I'm saying is likely that's what's why going to happen where if you want the really cool stuff or like better odds at getting the really cool stuff. Yeah. Like EA, like Madden, you can get packs for free by playing. They're scarce, but you can get them. You can get coins by playing and then buy players or buy certain packs with coins. But if you want the really good packs, You're right. you have to spend either a butt ton of coins or Madden points which you can only buy right yeah i don't know i hope they've learned their lesson at the at this point what um, lesson though the lesson is we put the loot crates in and people still and hate like your they, game. they put the they hate the game but they find the whales who spend thousands of dollars in the game and i can't remember what comp i think it was ubisoft again like the majority maybe not the majority but a large amount of their quarterly earnings are in microtransactions. Yeah, there's no doubt about so, like, that. Why would a company not just pump a game full of microtransactions when I think Fortnite makes seventy million dollars a month on V Buck purchases? Right. A because month their microtransactions are fine. They don't have loot boxes. That is true. They don't have Yeah. But but Epic Games and I because I recently started playing Fall Guys and I was playing with someone who has been playing from the beginning. And they said that Epic essentially not ruined the game because they did a lot to expand the gameplay. They came mm-hmm. up with a lot of new apps and all that stuff. But right. in terms of like the store, they totally ruined that. Because you used to be able to get points by getting wins and use those crown points to buy skins. Right. But now they took that away and they put in what is essentially V bucks into Fall Guys, and now you have to buy those if you want to get the skins. Right, that's kind of Which cringy. Blows. I think the Battle Pass, if you're going to do microtransactions, like like Fortnite does it best. Uh, Battle Pass is where the, I guess not the good stuff is. I guess the good stuff is in the item shop because why would they put the good stuff for cheaper when they can make the good stuff twenty five dollars? Well, Darth Vader is. In the battle pass. One skin if you grind the shit out of the game, which just ups their engagement metric, so it helps them. Indiana Jones. Not a, but not a lot of amazing but, but a lot of their really cool skins are I'd say, I'd argue every single one of their coolest skins have been only in the item shop. What about uh what about uh OG John Wick? That's like a cool skin because it's season three uh, level hundred. It's, not, it's not the coolest looking skin. I was just um, teasing. Yeah, no. There are cool skins from the battle passes, but the coolest ones are not in the battle pass, which is fine. That's it, where it all the main sense. collabs because they have they paid for those collabs, so they gotta make their no, money the back. Collabs are not the coolest skins. Are are again? I would at least I personally would argue that the ones are like the epic. Oh, made I ones. see what you're saying. Yeah, those, um, there there are a lot of cool ones for those. Yeah, but I'm saying they. But I think they put a lot of the collab ones in the item shop because they gotta make their money. Oh back. yeah, of course. I think the coolest. Well, at this point. Uh, I think some people may have paid to be on uh, Epic Ga- on Fortnite, but anyways, um, I think the Battle Pass is great. It's ten dollars for a ton of unlocks. It inc- it gives you a reason to play the game, and if you want to spend more money to get through it faster, that's fine. But the only thing money can get you is to get through a cosmetic only mm-hmm. Battle Pass faster. Mm-hmm. Where you can still earn the exact same rewards playing for free, mm-hmm. well, not upgrading your battle pass yeah, uh, just, just takes playing. a little slower. Which I would prefer. Like, if you buy it, there's then then you have nothing to play anymore. Mm-hmm. So like, what's the point? You just one wasted your money, and two now have nothing to play. Loser. He's playing Texas Hold'em Sorry, on I, his. I'm playing Texas he's Hold'em. Playing Texas Hold'em um, on PokerStars. Yeah, I. Not nobody's business. I will say, like, buying, like, when you see a battle pass drop in Fortnite and then, like, same day someone has the final skin, you're like, that's cringe. Man, you spent like $500. Uh, that's sad. That is sad. It just doesn't make any sense. Well, you didn't want to play the it's game. It's the same thing when in Rocket League, when I get scored on, and, and when, you, when you score, you have, like, a goal explosion. 
and you can buy ghoul explosions. The thing is, certain ones that are really cool are literally $30 for one goal explosion and that's all you get. So when I get scored on by somebody with a $30 goal explosion, <laughs> I don't feel bad. I just feel bad for them. You pity them. I do. Like, I'm like, you know what? He well, paid $30. He needs this. I feel bad for the kid's mom and dad whose credit but card even, this kid's sure Yeah, but it, sometimes it's not always that. Sometimes it's full on grown ass adults. Well, that some people have a lot of money. Like they me. can just spend. Oh my god! <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, skate is coming. Eventually. I'm, I'm really, really excited for it. It's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a, a good game to just play so casually, um, which is good. I hope that I, it seems like there is because a lot of games go this way nowadays. I want there to be like a leveling system, a progression system. Skate three kind of had that, but it was really just kind of like let's fuck around and like skate and do cool tricks. Which is can be fun in a party setting, but if I'm sitting at home playing, um, I want missions. And there were those in Skate Three. I don't want there. I don't. I don't want. Don't get it twisted. There were those because I 100% completed that game. And there were things to do in that game. I just want to make sure this one does too. I want there to be like a like a leveling system. I want to be level a thousand. And I think too is I think hiding tricks behind. Levels is also a good idea. I think the game has a lot of work for. potential, but say it again. No the game has a lot time. of potential, but it's electronic farts. So I am not going EA to did get the, EA did Skate Three though. I'm not getting overly excited. Yeah, but they've done a lot of bad since Skate Three. Name so twelve bad things they've done since. Oh my God! Dirt Madden, which one? Madden 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22. So that's Wrong. eight. Wrong. That's Battlefield. There's no shot that those. How are Battlefield those bad five? Names? Because they they didn't innovate any of those years, and they are all just m money grabs. And the online is is ass. NHL 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All ass. Um, Battlefield 5, Battlefield uh Okay, well, we're saying Madden and NHL. That's two. No, because it's every single game. No, they it's the same one bad thing that they did. But they do the same bad thing every year and they and they just cash grab every year. So I'm saying get excited if you want. I wouldn't pre-order it if I was you. Um I probably will but, today. Oh my god. <laughs> um because you never know. They could totally botch this and it'll just be some stupid thing like Battlefront 2 was, which they eventually fixed fine. Yeah. But it was ridiculous when that game came out. Yeah. And same with Battlefront 1. Battlefront 1 was a game that came out. It had four maps. It cost, it cost $80. It had four maps. And then you had to buy the $40 expansion if you wanted four more maps. It's like, okay, no. I hate to cut you off, but we're going to take a quick break. But that's fine. That's all I had to say. Um, Skate 4, I'm excited for sure. Realistic good, expectations. Good potential. Potential for sure. You're Debbie Downer. You're... <laughs> <laughs> for that one. Welcome back to Clap Sync Podcast. You guys got a little exclusive behind-the-scenes look of, you know, what it... What it really takes to host a podcast, and that is clap syncing. Thoughts? It takes a lot out of you. It takes a lot out of you Guys, to come life. back week after week and talk to the same multi-millionaire bozo who lives in a goddamn cobblestone basement. Yeah. My, yep. uh, my, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, my life force is, uh, oh my God. My life, su my life sucks. <laughs> Guys, my yeah, life, my life sucks. And Donate life in the super right chat now. below. Please. Please. <laughs> please. Can Donate I get some to money? the super chat below. Can I get some money, please? <laughs> can I get some iodine, please? Dude. Dude, no shot. You just said that. Okay. So guys, we're going to play a little quick game here. A little quick game for a quick kiss. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's called real or fake. You decide. <laughs> you decide. What an original name, bro. That's pissing me off. So I, I actually don't want to play this game anymore. There's no shot. You just named it real or fake. Okay, it's called Chai or Chalk. <laughs> I like that name. Okay, Chai, Chai or Chalk. <laughs> or Chalk. 
<laughs> uh, pod racer edition. So I got a list of names, pod racers. If you're not familiar with pod racing, it's from the Star Wars um, universe. Ethan says he's a really big fan of Star Wars. So let's put him to the test, guys. Let's see if he can. <laughs> okay, I'm not like a diehard. Let's see if he can get any of these. No, this isn't like the Coke and Pepsi thing, man. There's zero confidence <laughs> going into this. Okay, I'll start you with, I'll get them I'll all start you with an easy one. I'll start right. with an easy one. Okay, so basically Anakin I'm going to. Skywalker. Real, I'm going to name a list. I got a list of names. Some of them are Chai, some of them are Chuck. Say it for real. What some it of is. them are real, some of them are fake, and Ethan it's names to... of pod racers in Star Wars. The the characters who race the pods, not yes. the name of the pods. The pod racers is what I said, dumbass. They're the racers of the Sorry, pod. I'm holding it a subway small drink. Sorry, smoke. I'm just consuming my own ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so don't look at my I'm phone. All, you know, I'm trying not to. You're the bleeding. first one, Anakin Skywalker, Sebulba, real really fake, real. Nailed it. That's the easiest one, dude. That's so real. It's not even funny. That wasn't the first one, man. That's a joke, right? Small you didn't write down Anakin Skywalker. I didn't write down. You didn't write down any. I didn't write down any of shit. Come on, man. It's right there on your phone. Just read okay. out what it says. Okay. I'm just trying to fi figure it out. <laughs> Tesla Masha. Tesla uh, Real. That's fake. Oh, good one, good one. I actually meant fake. I didn't say oh, final answer. Oh, he got so it. I actually didn't say final answer, so fake final answer. Arc Bumpy Roos. <laughs> I'm going to guess that one's like too, that's too fake to not be real. So I'm going to say real. It is real. All right. Arc Bumpy Roos, bro. <laughs> Bumpy is his nickname, by the way. So it's Arc Roos is his name. Oh, okay. Bumpy. Is his nickname. Okay. Oh, shit. I deleted the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> My God, man. Clegg Holdfast. Clegg Holdfast? That's got to be real. It is real. It is real. Knew it. Knew it. Gas. Next. <laughs> Gas Gano. Fake. It's real. Real. I was trying to play the man more than I was trying to play the game. Gascano is the, if you can picture the Star Wars 1 racer game, he's the guy with the long, ar long skinny arms. He's got a bunch no, of No, that's General Grievous, I think. General Grievous is the next one. <laughs> Fake. Um, next. Okay, don't look. I'm not looking, man. You got the screen protector on that. I can't <laughs> see from the side. Dev Dom. That one's. See all I could. I could see you making that one. I could see you not making that one. I'm gonna say that one's fake. Correct. Correct. Fake. Easy. Final answer. Ricardo Ortiz. <laughs> this is a name. Um, this could go either way. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. No, because if I say real, I'm like an idiot. But I'm trying to play the man. I'm going to say there's no way you just made a dumb one like that. I'm going to say fake. It's fake. Let's go. <laughs> you try to trick me I with the exact trick. way of what I thought because yeah. you wanted to be super on the nose. Mm -hmm. um, Rath Eberly. Can you spell that? R-A-T-H. W-R-A-H. Nope, not W. <laughs> Eberly spelt like Jordan Eberly. E B E R L E. Oh yeah, because I, I know who that is. E B E R L E. Yes, the hockey. You nailed it. You're getting. You're nailing it. You're nailing this. Um, Real or fake? Jordan Eberly. I think that's a fake Star Wars name. Jordan Eberly is fake. Yeah. Okay. What about Wrath? Wrath of. Oh, Wrath Jordan. Mm -hmm. What is it? Wrath Jordan. Wrath Eberly. I think Jordan Eberly was an underrated leaf. It's fake. Fake. Um, <laughs> here's one. It's a a dud bolt. Dud bolt. That's got to be real, bro. It's real. It's real. There's no shot. I see. It's more about playing the man. There's what does no that way mean? You would have given me another dumb fake one. Mm. Ben Quadraneros. Shit, it could go either way. I'm thinking you guys tell me at home. Comment down below what you guys think this one is. Uh, I'm going to check in the comments right now. 
Um, let me check the comments. <laughs> Guys, he's checking the comments. Oh, shit. Nobody commented. <laughs> no. Damn it. You're on your own. Uh, I'm going to say Jordan Eberle. What was it again? Ben Oslot. Ben Quadraneros. Ben, ben Quadricep. Mm-hmm. Mm, real. Real. Let's go. Ben Quadraneros. I told you, dude. I've gotten every single one right so far. <laughs> Ben Quadraneros is the one whose engine doesn't start alongside Anakin mm. Skywalker's at the beginning. I, oh, yeah. No, I think Ben Quadraneros is the guy that Darth Vader kills with the lightsaber. Oh, shit. Spoiler, spoiler, bro. Spoiler. Comdo Lus. Um, can you put that in a sentence? Yo, my name is Comdo Lus. I'm a pod racer. So, notch on that, which means... If it's a fake name, then I'm notching you. So therefore, real. It's fake. <laughs> You're getting notched, man. You told me he was a pod racer, so I can only believe you. Asshole. <laughs> Damien Lee. I think I know that guy. I think I went to high school with that guy. <laughs> um, fake. Fake. Tree or bush? Um, I went to high school with that guy. Mahonic. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Mahonic? Mahonic. Mm, I think <laughs> this guy, bro. I think um, it's either real or fake. Nailed it. Am I right? Okay. No. Uh, or? Could I guess or? A CEO. C-E-C-K-O. Um, back to the game. Um, I would say Ben Quadranero. No. Real. Mahonic. Muhammad. Um I would say uh what what was the last one? The last one was Damian Lee. Okay, that one was fake because I went to high school with that guy. Mm -hmm. Ben Guadanero. <laughs> no. <laughs> he doesn't get the game at all. Um Muhammad. I would say fucking fake. <laughs> Real. Real, I meant to say. In the is, last minute, I changed my mind. Mahonic is the one that goes, uh, that goes like, ah, uh, to Sabalba, and then he bops him, and then the guy goes. He, does he look like? Um, see the guy that kind of looks like the people on Camino. No, that's that's uh, Ga that's Gascano, and he's got the goggles. Mm -hmm. You know who I'm talking about. Though. Yeah, that's Gascano. Oh, okay. Um, we'll oh, that guy's more. like a starfish. Sure. I don't know. I just said it. To we'll do a couple more. You said yes or no. Team Topagalis. Team Titans. Uh, Team Titans, real. Wait, what is it? Hold on. I'm just buzzing in someone. What? Team Topagalis. Oh, my God. Spelling that? T E E E E E E E E E E E M T E E E E E T T E E O, real. Let's go. T T E E I I I, Tay. Um. Canon Montoya. Fake. Fake. I've gotten every single one right so far. That's the crazy part. Rats Terrell. Rats. Rats Terrell. Um, if I don't get this one, though, it doesn't count towards my streak. Okay. But if I do get it, it counts. So I've still gotten every single one right. Okay. Every time I get one wrong, it doesn't count towards my streak. But every time I get one right, it does. So, mm -hmm. Okay, fair. Are you writing how many yep, yeah, I've yeah. got right down? Yep. Are you actually? No. Please? No, Rewind. You're gonna have to do a counter in the post. Okay, counter is here. <laughs> <laughs> um, say that one again. T T I I I. Rats Terrell. Fake. Real. Real. I meant to say <laughs> every time. And the last one. We'll do one more. Uh, Real. I just got two tacos. My God. The last one. Is how the fan can't be heard. Odie Mandro. Odie Mando. Nope. Real. 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 
Guys, he nailed every single one. Guys, I got every single one except for the ones that I didn't. You love to see that. If you're playing now, let's play. Now you play the game and let's go (laughs) through which ones and you get to name one. Uh, Okay, let me come up with one and then you can figure out if it's real or fake. Um, Craig. uh, um, Craig. Real. Real. It was the guy who almost beat Anakin. He came in second. It was Anakin's mom, Shmi. What's yes, her name? Sir. What's her name? Shmi. Shmi what? Skywalker. Shmi Skywalker. What? Is it actually? Yes. Okay. Because I was just thinking about that. What, did you think he was adopted? No. I guess I guess if you're adopted, well, you'd have the same last name. As uh, no, I wasn't thinking he was adopted. I was thinking like he gave himself that name. But or I guess You're thinking not. of Ray. No, that's what made me think of that. I know Ray gives herself no a such Skywalker, thing. which There's is no cringe. such thing as anyone named Skywalker. It's just you just give yourself that name. Well, I, no, I'm just saying like if 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 Anakin like didn't have a last name, so mm. he gave it to himself or something. I see, I see. Because he doesn't have a dad. She just she's you're kinda, right. Kind of like kind of like the Virgin Mary. He's space Jesus. He is, except yeah, he, he was, turns. He was formed by the midichlorians. Except he turns just like Jesus. He wasn't formed by the midichlorians. He was. He didn't just. Is he's still a human man? He was just there one day. He was no. Born. He was birthed, but he was formed inside of Shmi's womb. Who put the midichlorians there? Well, there's 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 theories. There's 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 Qui Gon Jinn. There's there's Yoda. Many, many options. A lot of people. Mace Windu. Big big theory is that um, Darth Sidious actually created Anakin Skywalker. With the midichlorians and no, you're placed her Ray. inside of Shmi. Nope. And he went and he went like this. He took the midichlorians and he went. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Cut it. Cut it now. Cutting it. Cutting it. Take it out. Take it out. Um, and so that's why when the Emperor in episode six dies... Apparently he's not dead. Well, he might be dead. They still haven't explained that yet. I'm hoping that we get an explanation one day. Oh, yeah. I hope we get an explanation in episode 10. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, when the Emperor dies, Darth Vader or Anakin... Also essentially, dies. Essentially because Darth Sidious created Anakin with the Force, he was the life force behind Anakin. So when the Emperor dies, that life force is then drawn away from Darth, and then mm. he dies. Interesting. Interesting. So um, I did it speak to it George Lucas about that, and the he said off. no. Oh, my God. I, I actually seen uh, something about how if Anakin had stayed a Jedi, like he didn't mm-hmm. burn up in Mustafar, mm-hmm. he would have been, like, basically an immortal god. He would have been able to, like, force fly and like do all of those things um and like force heal with literal ease he would have been like a god that's like uh, out of george lucas's mouth not just mm-hmm. off some like tiktok theory uh which i think is pretty cool yeah i mean he like he was on pace to become the chosen one i mean he was also another thing i love rewatching. i actually love star wars um I guys he loves it i think it's really cool um, Except for the force, which you think is goofy, ah, uh, which it I know. I like the force. I just think it's funny how like I've never heard anybody talk about how how why doesn't how, everyone just kill each other? with the Yeah, force like why like? don't you just use the force on everything? But anyways, I've said that so many times. Is I actually it's realized it surrounds that, us and penetrates us. I actually realized that I would be a Sith. I don't want to be a goofy ass Jedi who uh, is afraid to share their feelings that's why they don't have stuff like force choke and force lightning is because they're not as tapped that's why they don't have the tools to murder is no but i'm saying i'm saying i'm saying that the jedi aren't as tapped into Mm. um like the true potential of the force yeah they they like don't allow themselves to uh what are the what's the word i'm looking for you're speaking like uh sith right now dude yeah yeah and i would be a sith Um, you are jedi are tempted by power rewatching no it's not that i want the power it's like they're they're not as tapped with their emotions they're not as like you're controlled by your emotions open is what i should say 
they're not as 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 like vulnerable as the Sith are. And yes, they're the only Sith the bad happen only to the bad, bad only the bad Jedi aren't. What? Like Obi Wan. Obi Wan's cool. Watch if you Mace keep Windu's watching. a pussy. Mace Windu's a bitch. That guy is an actual sorry, sorry. loser. Mace Windu is a bitch. He is like he's a cool character, but. Like it, he's, he's really only cool because he has a purple lightsaber. Yeah, and he's <laughs> and yeah, like all That's of it. the Jedi's are bitches. They, except they for Obi Wan, all of them, bro. Yeah. They're so like, they're just losers, bro. You can tell all of them are literal incels. Uh, I feel like the, well, no, they they are the complete opposite. They are voluntarily celibate. right, 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 right. But they're voluntarily celibate. They say they are when. They're like, uh, they're like, uh, they're, they're like, uh, they're like the Pope, man. Let's start this argument. They're like well, the uh, Pope, priests. The Pope, well, the priests, losers, they diddle kids, diddle kids, losers, and don't, and, and are, do you think, that's the thing. Do you think that See, here's we're going to get guys, in so much think... trouble, <laughs> but nobody listens this far into the podcast, so it doesn't matter. Let, do you think Jedi's? Uh, right. Become Jedi's, Jedi's because, uh, and then they because they can they groom, don't have because they can groom be, younglings no, because then they have an excuse for not getting any bitches. <laughs> uh, yes. By the way, um, it's and that's actually why they a all... meme to say get bitches. I'm not actually being sexist or anything. I'm not demoralized. And that's why that's why they all hated Anakin. Yes, he was the only one because he was getting action, and they were like, they were like. <sighs> I want that. Jedi. I want it. When he's like, uh, well, I've been wanting you Padme. Be, I've tried like, so long. He's like, you can be on this council, but we do not grant you, grant you the rank of master until I get laid <laughs> with you. Please, can if you Please get me a girlfriend, me. if you get me a girlfriend, and a kid, I'll make you master. If you have me a girlfriend, I'll make out with you. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> yeah, no, the Jedi. I mean, like, that's, even that's just, what makes me laugh about about Star Wars fans is because they're so they're such purists. And if you said to someone like that, the Jedi, like, the, like they're complaining about, like, oh, the Jedi would never, like, the Jedi, blah, 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 blah. Like, the Jedi are a bunch of bitch cowards. They are. They are literal if cowards. If you ever said that to someone who's a Star Wars fan like that, they would, I actually want to. They would I want I would want to see their reaction. Be like, you know, the Jedi Council is just built on hypocrisy and bitch ass. Yeah, and bitch ass And they'd be busters. like, well, back in the old republic, <laughs> back in the resistance <laughs> in episode seven, back in episode seven. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh, my God. So, oh my God, shut up already. They're just like, uh, they're super like pretentious too. They feel like they're like super above everybody and like ethical. And I but, think it's, but that's, but, but I think Star Wars to a certain extent does explore the fact that the Jedi were wrong in a lot of ways especially yeah. in the clone wars that becomes a plot with yeah. a certain character i don't know how far you are along in the show not that far, that far. well eventually certain characters oh, are like no <laughs> certain characters are like i don't know if this is for me because you guys are all a bunch of idiots i think i know who it is who soka yeah yeah okay i already knew that yeah that's fine so um, makes sense they yeah, are a bunch she, of bitches she's like she's like screw you guys like you guys are a bunch of losers like i'm not like this is just not chill. Yeah. You guys are not chill like that. You guys are not. Yeah. Like if yeah. it was a crime to be chill, the Jedi would be walking the streets. Yeah. Bro. Free. The Sith would be arrested. The thing too is like, well, the Sith are also not chill, bro. The watching Emperor's face is an actual scrotum watching the clone wars. It's like, it's, it really is just like, um, this, the, the, at least the empire is different. They murder civilians in cold blood. The separatists do not, really. They're not pro, necessarily you, the so good you're guys. Pro separatist? No, not necessarily. But I'm just anti Jedi. I realize that it really That's is just fine. like it's not the Jedi trying to stop the separatists from murdering people. You have to. It's just it's a war. It's it's the separatists trying to gain control over the Jedi. It's the Jedi trying to gain control over the separatists. Nobody's really good. Nobody's really bad. Well, it's the separatists in the Republic first of all, but the Jedi. Are, or yeah, yeah the sorry, Jedi. Republic, the Jedi right. are their own thing. I meant Republic. The man. Jedi you know are what not, I meant. but they support the Republic. Come on, man. You know what I meant. Everyone at home know what I meant. Um, but what was I going to say? You have to understand that the light side of the Force does not mean that you are a Jedi. Like it, you, like 
you could you be, have to train a, to be could, a Jedi. You could be a light. You could be a person with the Force and not. It's not. You're either a Jedi or you have the dark side. It's you can have the Force and not be a part of the Jedi, but still use your powers for good. Meanwhile, you're just out here being like, I just want to Force choke a bitch. Force <laughs> choke a bitch. <laughs> I just want to. And dead. Yeah. I want to be able to do that to my enemies. I actually Dude. have zero enemies. I, except that's you. not true. I can name one. I'm not going to. But B starts with B. We'll just leave it at that. I, and it, you can and tell me afterwards because I don't know who you're his talking or, about. And his or her, or her name may or may not sound similar to a common dough product that you may or may not use to make a sandwich. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I got one enemy out there, bro. One enemy. That's it. That's it, bro. That's it. <laughs> Man, fuck that guy. Anyways, uh, I think we're gonna wrap the podcast up there. Yeah. We're reaching at about fifty minutes. Uh, we don't. We don't want to just keep talking for the sake of talking. So, and I don't want to keep talking to you because you got to go home. And I gotta take a crap. You gotta take a shirt. Yeah, well, you already did. I did here. Is that a banana in your pocket? You're just happy to see me. Both. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, long story short, the Jedi are actually a commentary on the priests, but anyway. <laughs> God. Man, I'm gonna get in trouble for that. The Jedi, but no, the Jedi are in my own perspective. The Jedi are the evil. The Jedi turned against me. Don't you turn against me? In my perspective, the Jedi are evil. Sure. Let's do this. Do what? Um, Itch wrap, the side of wrap, my head. wrap the podcast. Let's up. do this. <laughs> Sorry, my temple was burning. Um, oh my God, burning. Anyways, get away from me. Thank you, y'all, for tuning in to episode number seven. Um, let us know your thoughts on Skate 4. Let us know your thoughts on which ones you of those names you thought were real yeah. and which ones you thought were fake. Let us know your let comments. Us know which, <laughs> let us know which ones you thought were which, and we'll see if you guys got it right in the comment section below. So, mm -hmm. anyways, anything else left to say? Nah. Uh, All right. Done. We're done. Done. See you guys next week. Peace. Peace.